eyes are on Tropical Storm Colin, now the third named storm of the 2010 Atlantic hurricane season. Colin formed in the Caribbean early on the morning of August 3rd, 2010. According to the National Hurricane Center's current projections, the storm is on track for the Atlantic seaboard, not the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Storm Colin was not expected to pose a threat to the oil spill cleanup efforts by BP in the Gulf. On the morning of August 3rd, National Hurricane Center forecasters said Tropical Storm Colin had sustained winds of around 40 miles per hour. The storm was located about 800 miles east-southeast of the Lesser Antilles Islands. Tropical Storm Colin was moving generally west-northwest at around 24 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center did issue an advisory stating that some strengthening is forecast during the next 36 hours or so. The NHC says Tropical Storm Colin's projected path may take it just northeast of Puerto Rico in the Dominican Republic. It could pass north and east of the Bahamas by late this week. Forecasters say Tropical Storm Colin could then take aim at the east coast of the United States late this week or early this weekend. Tropical Storm Collins storm number three for the Atlantic hurricane season, which has been projected to be a busy one. The storm was preceded by Hurricane Alex, which made landfall near the Mexico-Texas border on June 30th, 2010. Alex followed by Bonnie, which made landfall in South Florida as a minimal tropical storm on July 23rd before entering the Gulf and weakening significantly. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.